Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Librarian Ellen. I wanted to invite you again for another Book Talk Tuesday. And today, since this is a Tuesday before Thanksgiving, I want to show you where we have some of our uh, cookbooks and where our, our collection is. So if you'll come with me, we are standing here at the entrance and I will take you to where the collection is. And I'm going to keep the camera on me so it's not really bouncy and crazy and stuff. So obviously there's the front door. We come on through here and we pass the front desk and we go straight back here. That's our power wall back there. So we go through our audiobooks. We take a little turn and we come into our nonfiction collection. Let me show you this. We got some new signs. So this is the one you're looking for. So right here, starting in this section here, these are all of our cookbooks, recipe books, um, all kinds of different things. And then once again, over here on this side, we got some more of them. And basically when you come down to um, selling your house, you've gone, you've gone far enough. And then it starts back on up here. But this is where all of our collection is for our cookbooks, recipe books, um, dietary books, anything like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to the Colorado room down this way, and we're gonna talk about some of the specific books that we have. So through the collection here, make a left-hand turn, then a right-hand turn into our Colorado room. If you've seen our other book talks, you'll notice that's the Colorado collection. So let me sit you down on the table and then I'll come have a seat and we can talk some more. There we go. I hope that wasn't too jumpy for some people. So these are just kind of the selection of some of the books that we have. Um, we have a variety of different ones for different things. So hence Thanksgiving, you can have you can check out this book, uh, A Bird in the Hand. A lot of great recipes for different types of birds to cook. Um, this is our latest book, Grist. Is it Grist? Yes, Grist. It, it's all about uh, legumes and beans and um, berries and, and um grains and and how to cook them how you know what to do with them you know instead of just the same old same old then also you know this is you know the comfort weather uh kind of kind of foods so we have a good one of soups and then we also have a specific one on recipes of just colorado so you may want to look into this one and see a little, maybe a little something different. Maybe you want to mix up your, your, you know, your meals or, and such like that. Now, oftentimes, you know, throughout people's lives, oftentimes there are certain things that it's just best if they totally avoid. So we have those. Also, uh, people choose um, to either eat more meat or more vegetables or however you want to flip that around. So just to let you know, we do have um, books that are almost strictly vegetarian or vegetables just in and of themselves. But say you have some issues and your doctor wants you to eat healthier. We also have, say, um, healthy heart cookbooks. Um, so great recipes for taking care of your heart. Say you have sensitivity to gluten or you just want to cut out gluten in your diet. Here we got another um, fabulous cookbook with a lot of um, recipes and how to's and everything like that. And then of course, you know, if you've been diagnosed with diabetes, here's a nice little cookbook because you know, it's that time of the year. We like that comfort food. And so this one is specifically for diabetes and for comfort food. Now we often get um, really unusual things in the library donated to it. And so I wanted to show you this particular one. Here's this book. So if you'll kind of notice the graphics on the front, this is not a 2020 kind of, kind of book. 
It is specifically for, um, evidently this was a advertisement book for a specific kind of alcohol. And evidently it was um, a, a liquor store down in Greeley. It was um, originally what this tag says. And so going through this, it was quite interesting to see the different um, information that they handed around. And, you know, some of them are like, um, you know, how to make different cocktails, um, you know, favorite kind of, kind of, cause this is for, you know, specifically for alcohol. Um, and it has different ones for like around the world or something, but it was just all kind of really interesting to see, you know, what we do today for parties. And what back in 19, let me see, let me look on here. I believe it's on the front. Maybe not. Maybe it was on the back. I think it was 1965 or something like that when this came out. Um, but it's, um, yeah, it just kind of goes into different parties and different things. But it's just really cool to see that it is, you know, very a date kind of looking thing. So this one was really fun to see. Um about the different drinks or drinks around the world. So like I said, we get some really interesting things, but for this holiday season, we do have a variety of books of, of anything that you may want to um, look into. And thanks for coming.